Good morning. Last week I filmed about my life out in Bangkok. So today I think I will do a little vlog about my life indoors. Today's vlog is going to be a day in my life. So I'm gonna go shopping at 7-Eleven. So I'm at 7-Eleven right now and I'm gonna do some shopping. So I'm having breakfast. This is what I'll be having. Sunny side up and toast and sausage. And I have some ketchup to go with my sausage. Meal prep. I have some Chinese cabbage and onions and garlic in here, and I have chicken here, and I have tofu here that I got from 7 Eleven a moment ago. And yeah, I'm gonna put some sausage, and I found some leftover seaweed. So I will be making soup, egg tofu soup, with Chinese cabbage and seaweed in it, with sausage as well. And then I'll do gong bao chicken. creative process I don't actually have set rules I don't actually follow recipes you know like go with my instincts and smell like if something is smelling right then the taste is also right and when I eat something I try to taste what kind of ingredients are in there and if I like something when I'm going out and eating I would come back home and try to recreate it myself Thank you. 
So I'm done cooking. Uh, so I'll have lunch a bit later. I still need to finish some work, so I'll go do that and have lunch. And I have invited my friends over, so they'll come over for dinner. We'll have dinner together. So yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. So I'm currently reading this book, um, Remembering Light and Stone, that I got from Big Bad Wolf a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and I have a package, so I will do some unboxing. So this is the package that I was talking about a moment ago. Um, so I ordered a new steamer because my old steamer broke down a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm going to unbox it. So it comes with this little cup so that you can pour water into the steamer. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's see. So this is not a gun, by the way, not a hairdryer. This is a garment steamer. Okay, it has a very long cord, which is very satisfying. Ooh, interesting. Oh, it's quite easy. So this is why you put water in, and this is where the water goes in. You put water in here, and then you pour water into this little container through this hole. And then you put it back into the steamer. I'm going to try using this. So I need to find a cloth with a lot of crease on it. Okay, I hope you can see all the crease here. And let's figure out if my new steamer can cancel all these out or not. To be honest, I didn't really know what to expect. This is my first time using this brand. I ordered it off of TikTok. <laughs> it looks high quality enough to me and it feels high quality too. Okay, so let's see if this guy can cancel out all the crease that I have on this pullover. So it lights up like this when you plug it in. You just have to click it to steam. It makes sounds. My previous one doesn't make sound. So. Okay, so this is how it looks right after I steamed it. It is quite impressive. All the crease is gone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, it is a sign that you should be using a steamer instead of an iron. I have been an advocate of steamers and I have this fear of ironing. I don't know why, but I always have this vision in my head when, you know, when I think about ironing, I have this picture in my head. I'm burning a hole in the back of my favorite shirt, the shape of an iron. I know that's absurd, but that's always what I have in my head and that's one of the reasons why I never iron. I cannot iron and I'm not ashamed about it because I have a solution, just steam it. Like steam is much easier, it's more efficient, it's safer, it's healthier for your clothes and it is also healthier for your mental well-being, at least for me. So yeah.
walking in the evening. It's not very hot. It's beautiful and I get to see the sunset. And a bit of an exercise as well. Because I have been staying in my room most of the time, so I didn't want to, you know, just sit around all day and do nothing. Someone here, she'll be the judge. My friend is finally here. 